Hey everyone, Harrison here. I go by Subliminal Sequences. I wanted to make a quick video on Overbridge, the setup tutorial. I couldn't find one, couldn't find anything that was quick and concise and kind of gave you a walkthrough of all the different steps and downloads. And I wanted to just create this to help out anyone who's new to Overbridge. Okay, so let's get to it. You're gonna to wanna to go to the Electron Overbridge website. I have the link below in my description. Once you're there, click go to download. Now it's automatically going to put Overbridge in the drop down. You don't have to do anything there. You'll scroll down to the download section and you'll see we have the Mac and Windows download. Um, this is uh, a Mac I'm on right now. This tutorial can be used for both Mac and Windows, but I am going to be using a Mac. I'm going to go ahead and click download here. You'll see we have that download started. Now right here it, it lists all the different um, devices that are supported. I, one of the reasons I love the Digitone and Syntax so much is because of Overbridge. Um, uh, it really helps a lot with the mix down. So just make sure your device is compatible with Overbridge. I'm going to go ahead and go to my download, open it up. Here we are right here. I'm going to click on the Electron Overbridge installer and you'll see that we are going to go through the installation process. You can see right here, it's gonna ask you which packages you want to install. I don't own the analog heat, analog four, key I wish, analog keys, rhythm. I do own the Syntac, I do own the Digitone, and I like having the Digitac downloaded because uh, I may purchase that again one day. So I'm gonna actually hit continue with those three selected and then hit install. Okay, from this point it's downloaded. We have um, our little icon up here in the corner and it pulls up the Overbridge engine. And right now it doesn't have any um, instruments that are being detected. So here we are with our devices. I have a Digitone and a Syntec here. I'm gonna go ahead and power up my boxes. Now the first thing you're gonna wanna do is make sure that you have each of your Electron devices enabled or set up to work with Overbridge. Okay, what you're gonna do is go to your settings, go to system, and you're gonna to go to USB config. And you'll see we have three options here. Overbridge is checked. We have USB MIDI, USB audio MIDI, and Overbridge. Make sure Overbridge is checked, and you can simply go to each of these and push yes. Digitone same thing you're going to go settings system usb config and just like the syntax you're going to have three options overbridge usb midi and usb audio midi and hit yes to overbridge great so we have our devices all set up to work with overbridge what you need next is your USB cables. This should come with each of your boxes, and if you don't have one, they're pretty cheap. You can buy them online. Now that we have our cables in, we're going to go ahead and connect them to the Overbridge Overhub. This is the Electron Overhub. This is the most popular way to use Overbridge. It has seven USB inputs. We're only gonna need two of them here, but you can imagine you can get pretty crazy with all these different uh, inputs. So first we're gonna insert the Digitone. And then the Syntec. Got them both plugged in there. Doesn't matter which USB port you put them in. Overhub comes with this cable. It's a USB 3.0 cable. We're gonna go ahead and plug it in here. In the end you'll see it's a USB. My laptop doesn't actually have a USB input, it has a USB-C input, so I'm going to use an adapter right here. And now I'm going to plug in that adapter and overhub to my laptop. Now as soon as I did that you'll notice that the Digitone and Syntec were automatically detected by the Overbridge engine. They say idle right now is their status. So 
So for plugins, you're going to want to make sure that you have um, go to your preferences and make sure you have. Um, I use VSTs uh, more than audio units, but you'll want to have on to both VST and audio units. Also, use VST3 plugin systems folder. But once you've done that, what you're going to want to do is go to um, audio and go to input device and you're going to see we have the digitone and the syntac so i choose the syntac it doesn't matter as long as you put one of your electron devices as the audio input device you're going to see that if i go over to plugins i just have audio units currently electrons are already showing up there with the devices but right there you probably just saw it pop up we have vst now and under there we have the electron folder and digitac digitone and syntac um, if that's still not showing up, you can go to your uh, desktop and then audio and from audio go to plugins and from plugins you should see VST and from VST you should see that electron folder with those packages. Um, if it's not there, you can manually drag and drop or put those in that folder from the download. Okay, from here we're going to go into our plugins. Um, you'll see we have our VST folder open with our three packages. We're going to grab the syntax right here and we're just going to drag it onto a MIDI channel. It has to go on a MIDI channel because it's a plugin. Uh, you'll see we have our Overbridge Syntax plugin that opened up here. We're not going to be going into the usage of the actual interface. This is more for setup. Next, we're going to go to Digitone, and I'm going to grab that plugin as well and drop it on MIDI channel 2. Uh, same thing, it's going to close this out. So now that we have our MIDI plugins here, we can actually interact with them. Um, what I'm going to do is go Create Insert Audio Track. And from here, you'll see that once we um, choose this drop down, you'll see we have Syntac and Digitone. Uh, for the purpose of this, we're going to just be recording on the Syntac um, just to illustrate how it's done, but you can do it with whatever you choose. So if you choose Syntac, for example, you can choose all uh, 12 tracks here. You also have your FX track, delay, and input tracks as well if you're sending audio uh, into the left and right inputs of either unit. Um, similar to Syntac, we have our Digitone, and you'll see that we have our four tracks and our left-right input. Uh, a little less options than Syntac, but we still love you, Digitone. I'm going to go ahead and just do Syntac right here and dupe. I'm just hitting Command-D on my keyboard. So I did 13 tracks right there. That is so we can do each of the 12 tracks plus the FX. I like to use the uh, in the box FX. When setting up over bridge, you're gonna notice the BPM in Ableton is the master or the BPM in your DAW and your electron boxes are the slaves. This is at 120 currently. I'm gonna bring it down to 80 for this tutorial. Let's go ahead and now just see if everything's working. Let's hit play and record. So you can hear that kick coming through on track one. And we're gonna just go ahead and keep letting it record. One thing you'll notice is that when the um, audio comes in, the overall dB or loudness of the track is a lot lower than you traditionally would see recording with a different audio interface in stereo or mono. Let's go ahead and record some additional tracks. Let's do all 12 of them. To do that on a Mac, you're gonna hold down the command button and then select all the record icons on each track you would like to record. By doing this simultaneously, holding down command and clicking the record icon, you'll ensure that you have multiple tracks recording at the same time. So now we have all of them selected. Now we're going to hit record on Ableton. So you'll see we are actually recording all 12 tracks simultaneously. Some of the tracks are louder than others or the WAV file appears bigger. Now you have individual tracks recorded into your DAW 
over Overbridge. What's amazing about this is you can go into every track, add EQs, add compressors, auto filters, plugins to sweeten up your sounds. Possibilities are really endless. That's gonna be it for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed this tutorial. If you're a fan of this content, please let me know. Like and subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video.